Hello, and today I want to look briefly at countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, um, basically nouns are the same. Okay, uh, if you speak about a bus, okay, you speak about uh, two buses. Alright, as with some of other spellings, uh, if you say um, a watch, then you speak about two watches, right? That's just the form, okay? Usual plurals, great. Now, the thing is you have some nouns which are a little strange, of course. For example, you have things like glasses, trousers, okay, which are always plural. Say, a pair of glasses, a pair of trousers, sunglasses, okay, these, these are always plural. Then you get others which are always singular. Um, for example, information. You never say informations. Okay. Uh, advice. Be careful with this one. Advice. Never plural. You speak about some advice or a piece of advice. Curious. You can always get two, you can always have the opposite of these. For example, news, which in fact finishes an S. But, we say, some news, or a news story, a news article, it's never singular, okay, without the S. It's always with, with the S. You get other strange things like furniture, which curiously is never plural. Again, we talk about some furniture or a piece of furniture. Again, you can talk about other forms of dividing the object. Uh, bread. Okay. How do we talk about bread? Well, you can say a loaf of bread, a slice of bread, these type of things indicate what we do with the bread. A loaf, a complete loaf, or a slice of, of bread. Okay? Alright, um, the problem with this type of thing is you just have to learn which ones are strange. Okay? There's no real uh, a clue for this type of thing. Okay. So, anyway, apart from the usual plurals, as I say, you get these strange things in the middle. So, you just have to look at them, study them, and remember them. I'm afraid that's all you can do. Okay? Thanks. Bye.